Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to configure your packing slip settings within Shipping Easy. Shipping Easy has a library of packing slip templates ready to go with options to customize which templates are used when. So let's get started. Click Settings in the top right of the app and select Packing Slips on the right side. In this menu, you have the option to set up one or more templates and select the size you'd like to use when printing your packing slips. Click New Template and let's check out the templates that are available. For each label size, there's a list of templates you can use. I use a tabletop printer so I'm going to explore the templates for 8.5 by 11 sized paper. The default packing slip is the Shipping Easy standard with additional variations below. Click any template to see a preview on the right side of the screen. If you want, you can modify the template to make changes or start from scratch by clicking Start with a blank template at the bottom left. Unless you need something very specific in your template, there shouldn't be a need to edit or create one, however. Your logo and all other order information pulls in from your store settings and the order itself. I'll go ahead and set up a gift packing slip on my store, as lots of people use my products as gifts, and I can easily set up a rule to identify gift orders and use that packing slip for those orders, which I'll demonstrate at the end of this video. Down at the bottom, I can adjust the template name if I want and make it a default template for domestic or international orders. I won't make this the default, but it's easy to change if I wanted to. Just hit Create Template, and there you go. New packing slip created. Easy. You can see which templates are the default for domestic and international with these symbols, and if I want to delete it, I would just use this X on the right side. Right below the template creator, I'm able to select the size of paper my packing slips print on when I print them as I print my labels. Make sure it fits with your packing slip printer. If you want, you can set it to print a different default size if you print your packing slips before you print your label, using this checkbox and drop down here. If you have printer paper that allows you to print your label and packing slip on the same sheet as a combination, you can click the label settings link here and make your choice there. Now before I go, I just want to show you how to make a rule that uses a specific packing slip template in specific situations. In this case, use the gift packing slip if the order is a gift. Click on settings in the top right, then select shipping rules on the right side. Click new rule. I'll call this gift orders. For the if statement, I select if order is gift is true, and the then statement will be set packing slip template gift packing slip. Hit save and done. Use this to make sure you have the right packing slips assigned to the right orders. And there you go. For more information on this topic, click the help center in the bottom right and search packing slip settings. Click this first article and this square opens it in a new tab. Thanks for watching everyone.